Welcome to Learning Objective 3. Here we're going to explain how to account for the disposal of plant assets. Companies dispose of plant assets that are no longer useful to them. They can dispose these assets in three major ways. They could sell it, that's selling the equipment to another party. It could be retired, equipment is discarded off as crap. Um, it could be exchange, whereby you exchange the equipment for a new equipment. In order to account for disposal, we need to record depreciation up to the date of that disposal. Then we eliminate assets by debiting the accumulated depreciation and crediting um, the asset account. To calculate your gain or loss on the sales of the assets, Compare the book value of the assets with the proceeds received from that sale. If the proceeds that you receive exceeds the book value, a gain is made on disposal. If the proceeds are less than the book value, then we want to say that you made a lot on disposal. All right, so we have an example here. On July 1, 2022, Wright Company sells office furniture for 16,000 cash. The office furniture originally cost 60000 and as of January 1, 2022, had an accumulated depreciation of 41000 Depreciation for the first six months of 2022 is 8000 Right records depreciation expense and updates accumulated depreciation on July 1 as follows. Now, I want you to know that whatever methods we use um, to dispose the company has to first determine you know what the book value of the plant asset is at the time of disposal in order to determine if there's going to be a gain or loss so you want to determine what your book value is so here we have a depreciation up till you know july 1 to be eight thousand. dollars apart the question we debit our depreciation expense account and also credit our accumulated depreciation then we now take into account what the gain is going to be so the first we want to look at our cost the uh cost of the office furniture then we deduct our accumulated depreciation remember we are adding the eight thousand um that is the depreciation up to the time of disposal to what the accumulated depreciation was before and that's forty one thousand. that gives us a total of forty nine thousand. The book value at the date of disposal is 11000 Now, proceeds from the sale were told is 16000 Remember we said that if the proceed uh, from the sale or disposal exceeds the book value, then you made a gain. In this case, our proceed is more than the book value, and so we have a gain on disposal of 5000 How would they record it? There we go. Cash, which was received, 16000 and then we have our accumulated depreciation to be 49,000, which is a debit. Remember, we said we're going to debit our accumulated depreciation. Then we credit the equipment for 60,000. That's the cost of the item. And then plus the gain that we receive, which is 5,000. And this helps it to balance up or have uh, the debit credit to equal to the um, credit side. Now, assuming that instead of selling the office furniture for 16,000, right, sells it for nine. Okay, so the cost of the furniture is 60000 We still have to add up the accumulated depreciation in order to, for us to find out what the book value is at the date of disposal. So that brings us to 11000 at the date of disposal. The proceed from the sale is 9000 And in this case, the proceed from the sale is less than the book value. And that's going to be a loss on disposal. Every other thing is going to remain the same except on how we treat the loss. So we first have our cash, which was 9000 received. Then we have our accumulated depreciation of 49000 um, Then the loss on disposal of plant assets will be 2000 And then we have equipment, um, a credit to equipment in order to write it off to be 60000 And that helps us with that question. Complete simply retire the asset rather than sell. Uh, to record the retirement, company record the retirement of an asset as a special case of a disposal where no cash is actually received. And then they decrease, that's debiting the accumulated depreciation for the full amount of depreciation taken over the asset life. 
Next, we decrease the asset for the uh, with the credit for the original cost of that asset. Okay, so we're going to see an example. Overland truck had a old truck that cost thirty thousand and has an accumulated depreciation of sixteen. Assume two different situations. The truck sells. The company sells the old truck for seventeen thousand cash. The truck is worthless, so the company simply retires it. Now, in scenario one, remember they sold it for seventeen thousand. So let's see what that will be. So we receive cash for seventeen thousand. Our accumulated depreciation is sixteen thousand. Equipment is thirty thousand. Now we have a gain on disposal because the proceed is more than the book value. Okay. Now for scenario two, we have the accumulated depreciation of sixteen thousand. We have loss on disposal because they're not gonna gain back that for ten thousand, right? It's gone, it's gone. There was nothing received for this, no cash was received. And then we have equipment thirty thousand. Okay, so we're able to calculate this loss by subtracting the sixteen thousand accumulated depreciation from the equipment of thirty thousand to give us a loss of fourteen thousand. All right, that brings us to the end of learning objective three. See you in learning objective four, where we will talk about the basic issues related to reporting intangible assets.